Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the Dubai International Motor Show. Now behind is the new Defender. Now a car that was very much awaited was this one at the car launch for the first day when a lot of cars were launched and this car made it so Defender four years back decided to uh, discontinue the the Defender with the original Defender 90 and the 110 which were in the market and after that it promised that it was going to be coming out with another one and here it is behind me now in September they did a launch in European region and the UK markets and in the in the in the US region as well and also in the Asian region but Middle East they just launched it uh, the yesterday which was at the car launch event out here that was done anyways I wanted to straight take you around and show you wh what all changes have been done to the car in a very quick review video let's go around now today is a weekend so expect a lot of crowd and a lot of people just going around and apologize already for that now this is the 110 version and the new 90 version so let me start with the first 90 version so the 90 version has a two door and the both the defenders basically come with a two engine option which is your two liter and a three liter turbocharged uh, option so the two liter produces the 300 brake horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque so the six cylinder which is uh, a three liter engine produces 400 brake uh, brake horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque and it's available in both that's the 110 and this is the 90 so th these both pro uh, have the different options and the passing prices are since now these are all the first edition so these are probably the the expensive ones starting from 250,000 dirhams this one and it goes all the way up to 275 and also the same case with this one which is the 250,000 dirhams and goes upwards to 300,000 but Land Rover says that they're gonna be since these are the first edition that's why they are expensive but once the newer uh, the, the, the another versions that come up then they are gonna be becoming cheaper but let's start with the with the design and and you you see there has been a redesign completely uh, compared to the older one but what they've tried to do is land Rover tried to make the the defender shape pretty similar to what it was before trying to take all the all the essence from the older car and trying to maintain that in the newer one as well but you see there are aluminium platings out here at the bottom as well it's become more rugged it's become more built to last and the way this this, this car has been portrayed it is more like a luxury defender now and let me take you a um, walk around as i told you it's a super busy day today and on the sides you get 20 inch rims and the the, the sort of designs on the side this is a two-door version as i mentioned before but look at the ground clearance out here and it promises to to be tackling the same way that the old defender was but in a, in a much luxurious way and at the bottom again this car has been obviously been put up on this this display where in replicating the the rocky sort of region so the lights as you see they have been flushed into the body and on the sides if you see there is an old defender shape which has been maintained out here and also the the lights i'm going to be taking you out to the 110 closer and then going to be showing you all how the lights are designed but they are basically flushed into the body so that they don't get damaged when you go off-roading now this is the 110 defender and this is the one that has been displayed the 90 hasn't been displayed uh, for the visitors but this has been left open the, so there are two different versions of the 110 currently one is this with a 22 inch uh, rims on this one and honestly these look pretty cool on this one and to show you the the, the tail lights first and look at this so they have this LED sort of design and then they go inwards if, 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 if I show you this and even the the smaller lights but look at the shape that has been maintained from the old defender and the back there is a lot of boot space you can see there is metal scruffing at the back and all these seats are individually collapsible so 40 40 20 and there is this sort of metal that they put and also there is a glass on top if i may show you quickly which looks really cool as well the interiors have been completely redesigned so 
since the, the area is super busy so let me start from here so you can see on the side there are open sort of screws being given to make the design look very robust and very rugged and even in the center the the screen is extremely clear the the multi-information display screen out here which shows you and also the infotainment screen has been given a unique feel from 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 the whole new redesigned interiors where it's got a slot behind and it's just like a floating screen and even the, the the interiors are pretty plush and it's been made to last for a for 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 all your off-roading adventures even at the back there are super comfortable seats and there is a panoramic sunroof and which goes all the way to the back as well and you also get uh, the handrest as well at the back with cup holders so you can see it's been made to and also rear ac as well and also these tool handles to which was available in the old defender as well so this is also another 110 defender and this has a few things different as you can see uh, the, the the back has this design which was uh, which we saw at the front on the hood where they they had on the bonnet they had two two aluminium plates which had the similar design this is something very similar that they put on the top you can see there is a carriage that they put along with a ladder so you can put whatever stuff and then i don't know you can climb on top and then put a tent on it or maybe put your luggage and tie that or whatever but apart from that the interiors are pretty similar no, the only change is you get the 20 inch alloys instead of the 22 in the other eb uh, the the defender 110 this is the the storage that i was talking about there is the storage in the dashboard there is also a slot behind the screen the bed where i don't know you can't really store much but then it's a very floaty design and also the gear lever let me zoom in and show you the gear lever and that's the gear lever and then that is also pretty handy and it just doesn't come in the way because that the the center area has been all converted into storage and only a gear lever out here there's a nice bit of screen although it takes a long time for the screen to load for some reason so those were the land rover defender 110 the 90 and the 110 with the 22 inch rims which were just launched by the land rover at the dubai auto show two days back now they started taking orders and they they, pro they promised that the delivery should start by next year as well along with the different pricing these are the first edition as i mentioned before there are going to be more editions which are going to be the cheaper versions of the of the of the defenders 90 and 110 in future i'm going to be trying to do a detailed video about these cars once once they once i get them for the review and then take you closer and sh show you all the features that this car the, the 90 and the 110 have if you like this video give it a thumbs up and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come until we meet next time bye bye